Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's house. I am here with Mr. Pablo today, and we will go ahead and get started in a second. Just wanted to say thank you for everyone that has supported Healthy Hound. This is not a Healthy Hound product, by the way. This is just something that we like to do. And he wanted to pop in and say hello to the YouTube world. Um, but today's video will be about a great Etsy marketing tool that will help you boost your click-through rate that I've personally discovered to work really well. It does seem a little bit sneaky, but at the same time, it is a great way of getting people to your page and to click around. But right now, I'm just going to let Pablo go, get his bone, and we will go ahead and get started. Hey guys, and welcome back. I know you just saw Pablo, so make sure to click the like button, subscribe, and comment below if you would like to see more of him. He is Ryan and I's little baby and pride and joy. Okay, so as I was saying in the intro video, guys, today we'll be doing this marketing tip that I've learned recently um, that actually works really well on the front end of what it looks like for your Etsy purchasers. So to do this, we're going to go ahead. Of course, you need the Printful Etsy integration kind of stuff. So if you haven't already signed up for Printful, make sure to do it here. Um, you can click my link down below and that will take you to the sign up page as well as my It's Etsy link. And if you sign up through Etsy, through my Etsy link, you will get 40 free listings. When you first open your store, I also get 40 free listings, but the alternative is for you not to get 40 free listings and me not to get 40 free listings, so it's better just to click the link below. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So today we're just gonna create a simple product type. It, we don't really have anything new until we get to this pricing area, and then I'll go ahead and show what it looks like from there. So I typically like to do the unisex basic soft style Gildan 6400. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. I'm just going to do the Zcash crypto logo. Um, and I typically make them a little bit smaller. And then for this, for this time and the um, efficiency of this video, aside from my stuttering, I'm just going to do really simple um, titles, descriptions, keywords, etc. For some, whatever reason, my... Printful has been like taking a long time to process and I don't know if it's because I have my Photoshop open or something like that. And if you guys have any tips about that, let me know down below for real. That would be great to know um, what's going on because I can't live with this slow Printful. I can't live with slow anything anymore. So for the time, for the sake of time, I'm just going to do, I usually front load the title with a bunch of keywords, but in this case, I am not going to... Uh, and I'll do this. Okay, we're going to proceed to pricing. Now, here is where all of the magic happens. So I typically price my shirts at $19.99. But if you want an edge over some of your competitors that are pricing their shirts pretty much around the same $19.99, what I like to do is come over here and lower the price of the small. Now, smalls are the, probably my least purchased sized shirt, but it will make a big difference on the front end of your Etsy store. So we're going to submit it to the store. And then I'm going to come over to my Etsy and go to my drafts and boom, there it is right in my drafts. So I am going to click here and click edit because we have to publish it, which is a huge, huge, huge part of this because if you don't do it, it will just be sitting in your Etsy drafts for a long time. So you got to scroll down and the only thing I really mess around with in here is the printful check. I typically like to do tags in printful rather than in Etsy because here you have to do each one then push enter whereas i can copy and paste a whole line of tags onto printful side of things without having to do one individual phrase at a time so I definitely prefer it through printful side of things but we're going to go ahead and publish it and now it should be published and we're going to click here oops just kidding back to listings we will go to yes active now and then we are going to go view on Etsy. And so now you will see it says $14.99 on the front end of Etsy, $14.99 plus. So once you select a color and then you go down here, you will see that it shows up as $14.99. And that's what the viewer will see. But as you scroll down, it the pricing turns is to $19.99. So that is a great small little trick that you can be doing um, just to get more click-throughs and get people onto your listing website or your, your listing page. Um, but overall, yeah, it's super simple, super easy, and it works, it genuinely works. Now there's no way of proving to you 
how much it works, but I know for sure it works because I am someone that is also privy to seeing the lower prices on two different style shirts because this is a common shirt. People, there's plenty of these crypto shirts that say Zcash. The only thing that sets us apart is that my front end, when you first go to the listing, will show $14.99. So it's definitely a little sneaky way of getting more viewers into your shop. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip and trick. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Also, do a shout out to Pablo, who's running around in the background. I just took off his matching sweater. Um, we are all about the sweater weather, guys. So if you want to see more of it, again, comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching Mary Jane's House, and I have, hope you have a good one.